How come, when the sun sets, we see a myriad of colours? How does our eye detect and know the difference? Why do stars twinkle, but planets don't? How come people with Alzheimer's remember every lyric to a song, but not their own family? How does the brain choose what to remember and what to disregard? You know me. I'm that annoying kid who sits in class and asks all the questions that pop into my head. And because most of them don't relate to the syllabus, I don't get to talk about them or find out the answers. I'm that kid that always wants to know more. I want to know how. I want to know why. And that's why I also want to attend Asian Science Camp 2012. I might not find out the answers to all my questions, but I want to meet other people that ask questions too. I want to talk to them and come up with our own answers. I want to listen to the incredible type of person that I might like to be one day and be inspired to create my own answers and of course to ask more questions. That one's way too hard to spell. But I love science! I talk. A lot. It's how we share information. It's how we discover new things. Coming home from Asian Science Camp 2012, I would want to tell everyone around me about my experience. The things I learned, the people I met, why it was so incredible, and how it changed my life. But talking about it wouldn't be nearly enough. If I had the opportunity to attend Asian Science Camp, I would return home and share my experiences in a variety of forms. A short video, a speech on assembly, but then also a write-up in the newsletter, a piece in the newspaper, an explanation at a meeting of a community of different schools, a link on a Facebook status, a new YouTube clip, or a photo presentation. More importantly, however, I would want to share my experiences with the people who I know will appreciate the most, my community's younger science students. I want to invigorate students who are thinking about studying science in senior years. I want to renew Year 7's passion for science, and most of all, I want to ensure it continues into later years because I want to talk to primary school students, those kids who have done exactly the same thing as I do and will continue to do for the rest of their lives because that's what great scientists do. I want to talk to the kids that ask questions. I want to share my experiences with them so that they can know that they can do great things with their lives as well just because they have the initiative to ask a question and want to know more.